I was using G drive and one drive for storing all my files. But recently I switched from those to this. This is a Terra Master NAS, which can run virtual works for running all distros like Kali, Ubuntu or any other. Not only virtual works, you can also use Docker for same. And even your own Netflix with Flex Media Server. And if you are not familiar with NAS, NAS is basically a storage device that is connected to your local network like Wi-Fi router and you can store all your files in that NAS which can be accessed through all your device whether it's a PC or a phone but NAS is more than a storage device in storage device like hard drive or pen drive you just store the files and access it through USB but in NAS we can run software like VirtualBox, Flex and many others and we can do much more stuff with NAS. So recently TerraMaster sent me this NAS, which is a two-way entry-level NAS with capacity of 40,000 GB and up to 32 gigs of RAM. We'll talk about that later in the video. You just need to get this tray out like this and place the hard drive in it and insert it back into the NAS. Then get your Ethernet and power adapter cable from the box and insert it into the NAS. Then plug Ethernet into your router or switch and power on. And we are done with setup here. Now we need to go to the browser and go to terramaster.com, head over to support, download, and here select NAS. Plot in our case it's 2. And the model which is F2223. Then start. Now go to desktop and system. And download the NAS app according to your system you are using. I'm using Windows and it's here. We install it and it will start searching for the NAS connected to your network. Make sure that NAS and the PC is on the same network. And mine is here. And this is the IP of our NAS. Next, we need to click on this little icon to log in into our NAS. A small break here. Now click on start. Next. And here select custom. This will take few moments for checking the drive. Also, as I said, it has capacity of 40 TB with two drive slots means 20 TB each. And mine is good. So we'll click on next and select online download for TOS, which is an OS or operating system developed by TerraMaster itself for the NAS. This will take some time. And once it's finished installing and setting up the DOS, you will see screen something like this. Here we need to set up our super user or root account. To so just fill the details, accept this too. This is the email setup, means you forget the password or anything else, you will get email for that. But this will also expose the NAS to the web, which we don't want for now. And don't do this without proper security setting. Also subscribe if you find this video helpful. So for now, we'll skip that. It will also ask you to choose RAID type while setting up the NAS, something like this. There, just select T-RAID stands for Terramaster RAID, which is good for T-NAS. I don't got that option as I'm doing this setup again, after resetting the NAS, as the video I recorded first got corrupted. In your case, just select T-RAID. And after all setup, this is TOS. So just accept the agreement. These are some settings. You can take a closer look into it. For now, we'll close it. And open file manager. And some instructions here for accessing the files. And as I said, I reset the NAS, but my files are still here. That's great. Now, if you want to access this NAS from anywhere in the world, just click on this remote access and enable that. Select your closure server and apply. This will be accessible through tnas.online server which is hosted by TerraMaster. Next is our favorite place in this NAS. We'll go to all and here we have many applications including Docker, VirtualBox, Flex and many other which you can explore and use. For now we'll install Flex as I don't use Netflix and it's installed. We'll open that, some basic setup, and don't worry, Flex is free. You can use paid version for extra things if you want. For now, we'll go with free. 
and we'll uncheck this as I don't want to expose it for now. And after next, next and next, here is flex running with it few minutes on our NAS. I also tried running docker and installed Ubuntu in that and everything worked fine. Now most important and for which this NAS is bold. In windows you just need to click on this icon on TNAS app and enter your username and password and that's it. You will be able to access your files. To access it on your phone you can use Telemaster mobile app. It's available for iOS as well as Android. But I like to use Red Archiver which is my favorite one. Just get Z Archiver from Play Store and also install Z Archiver Cloud plugin. Next open it. Click on this three dots. Go to settings. Plugins. And click on cloud plugins. Add new profile. And here we need to select one of these. By default TNS uses SMB protocol. Which is not supported in Z Archiver as of now. So we need to enable FTP to access it through it. So just go to TOS and click on control panel, file service and click on FTP and enable that. Back to ZI Carver. So here we'll select FTP. Now give it any name and here enter following. FTP colon slash slash and TNS IP address here. And here enter your TNS username and password. But wait, before you click on OK, click on test. And if you enter everything correct, you will get this pop-up. So now you can click on OK. And now you will have this NAS storage in ZI Carver. And you can easily transfer files through it. So if you want to get started with NAS, this could be the first one. And if you have seen the specs, it's great. You can add extra RAM and extra NVMe for better performance. If you are interested in that, let me know in the comment. And thanks for watching.